नमस्ते वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग टेक्निक्स कोर्स इन दिस वीडियो विल बी डिस्कसिंग हाउ टू ऑप्टिमाइज द बाइनरी क्रॉस एंट्रॉपी लॉस इन लॉजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन रिमेंबर इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी टॉक्ट अबाउट बाइनरी क्रॉस एंट्रॉपी लॉस इट इज डिफाइंड एज जे ऑफ डब्ल्यू विच इज डिवेर डब्ल्यू इज अ वेट वैक्टर इज इक्वल टू निगेटिव ऑफ सम ओवर वन टू एन वाई आई log of h of xi plus 1 minus yi log of 1 minus h of xi yi is the actual label and h of xi gives us the predicted label so now we also know that you know we have already seen how to perform regularization in case of linear regression the same type of regularization can also be performed in logistic regression so in, there are two types of regularization l2 regularization and l1 regularization in l2 regularization we add the second norm of the weight vector to the to the loss function whereas in l1 regularization we add first norm of the weight vector to the uh, to the loss function the norm or the penalty is weighted by a regularization rate lambda now that we have derived our loss functions let us focus on optimizing these loss functions to obtain the weight vector so weight vector w we are we want the weight vector w that minimizes the loss and this is the formal way of stating the same thing w is equal to argmin jw so we want the weight vector that minimizes the loss so we can use gradient descent algorithm for minimizing this loss the weight update rule looks like the following so the the new value of the weight vector is set to the old value minus alpha which is learning rate times the partial derivative of the loss function with respect to the weight vector so we'll first calculate the partial derivative of the sigmoid function so the partial derivative of the sigmoid function is as follows so the partial derivative of the sigmoid function is equal to 1 by 1 plus e raised to minus z raised to uh, raised to 2 into e raised to minus z now what we can do is we can simplify this e raised to minus z or we can rewrite it as 1 minus 1 by 1 plus e raised to minus z now if we do simple algebraic manipulation then this comes out to g of uh, g of z into 1 minus g of z so now what we will what we will do is we will use this we will use this identity that the x1 the the partial derivative of the sigma function is equal to g of z into 1 minus g of z we will use this for calculating the partial derivative of loss with respect to uh, the weight vector so so we have we, here we are deriving the partial derivative of the loss with respect to a single weight which is wj so we can repeat the same calculation for different weights so what we do is we first substitute the value of the of the loss and here we are focusing on non regularized loss and here we are also using the feature vector as it is so the same kind of calculation will also apply for transform feature feature vector where we have a step where we were doing transformation of the feature vector so the same calculation also applies for for that transform feature vector so let us let us first calculate the partial derivative of loss with respect to a single weight wj so we substituted the value of the loss over here then what we do is we 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 substitute hw of xi as g of w transpose xi and now we move this partial derivative inside and what we get is this log for this particular log we get the value of 1 by g of w transpose xi 
And the same thing happens over here. This is 1 by 1 minus g of w transpose xi. And then we have an additional term which is, uh, which is a partial derivative of g of w transpose xi with respect to wj. Now here we will use the, the derivative of the sigmoid function that we derived in the previous slide. So we write this as g of z into 1 minus g of z where z is w transpose xi. And then since we do not have z or z but here we have the value which is w transpose xi so we also add uh, we also add we, we multiply the whole quantity by the partial derivative of w transpose xi with respect to wj. Now if we perform simple algebraic operations over here we end up with uh, this particular equation. So simplifying further what we get is we get we get the value of the, the, the partial derivative of the loss function with respect to wj as negative of sum over 1, 1 to n yi minus yi minus g of w transpose xi into xj of i. So this is the jth value or the, the value in the jth feature of the ith instance. So we substitute uh, hw of xi back in place of g of w transpose xi and here what we do is we bring this negative sign in so the so instead of instead of subtracting hw xi from yi we subtract yi from hw xi so hw xi is the predicted value of the label and yi is the actual value of the label so we can read this as sum over 1 to n sum over all training example we take the difference in the prediction this is the predicted value and this is the actual value the difference in the in the predicted labels into the the value of the feature for that ith example and remember we are doing this calculation for every example and then then we are summing over this this quantity over all n examples the update rule becomes the new value of wj is set to the old value of wj minus alpha which is a learning rate times sum over altering example the difference between the predicted uh, label and actual label multiplied by the value of jth feature of uh, the ith instance. So we perform this calculation for every example and we sum it over across altering examples. And this is how we set the new value of uh, wj. So we can return, uh, we can we can write this in a vectorized form as w or the weight vector. So here it contains all such wj's. So the new value of the weight vector is set to the old value of the weight vector minus alpha, which is a learning rate, times the the transpose of the of the feature matrix into the difference between the predicted label minus the actual label and we can substitute this hw of x, x by g of xw so this is the logistic function and xw is a linear combination of features and this becomes linear combination of features for all the all the examples so so this is this is the compact vectorized form of the update rule and we'll be implementing this particular form uh, in the when we implement logistic regression from scratch. So this is how gradient descent update proceeds on the loss surface. So this is these are the contours of the of the loss and these are the these are different steps in the gradient descent and red is the is the point where uh, where we have the the minimum value of of loss and this is the point that we finally reach starting from this point in multiple steps of gradient descent updates so when we reach to this particular point we get the 
the weight vector corresponding to this point and this vector this weight vector will have the minimum value of the of the loss uh, among all other weight vectors let's look at how to perform inference in logistic regression so logistic regression essentially returns as the probability that an example belongs to class 1 and if this probability is greater than 0.5 we assign the class 1 to to the label otherwise we assign class 0 now this 0 0.5 the threshold of 0.5 can be adjusted and typically this is adjusted in a cross validation manner uh, that is suitable for the given for the given problem at hand so we evaluate the logistic regression classifier with evaluation matrix uh, that we use commonly for other classification algorithms we have already studied uh, metrics like confusion matrix precision recall f1 score and accuracy we also calculate area under the curve of roc and pr curves for evaluating the logistic regression so that's all from the logistic regression let us quickly recap logistic regression and its five component so we use features and labels and labels are basically uh, discrete they are member of some kind of a discrete set the model of logistic regression is linear combination of features and nonlinear activation function so we calculate the nonlinear activation of linear combination of features we use cross entropy loss we can also regularize this cross entropy loss with l1 and l2 regularization we can use gradient descent mini batch gradient descent or stochastic gradient descent as optimization procedures and we evaluate logistic regression with precision recall and f1 score so in the next video we'll implement logistic regression from scratch